This is Iowa. I haven't seen drifting like this in probably 20 years. A quick glance out of your window on a drive through rural Jasper County, all you see is snow. It's been pretty much nonstop. Jasper County Supervisor Brandon Telsmo says it's also left the Jasper County Road Department with the tall order of keeping roads manageable. We allow our guys to bank up to 100 hours of comp time, and that's usually enough to handle them through the winter, and we actually just had to pay uh, $20,000 of overtime last time because all the guys are maxed out. I mean, they've been pretty much running nonstop for about two and a half, three weeks. Along two-lane roads just northwest of Newton and east of Highway 14, seven and eight-foot walls of snow that's been plowed aside create a tunneling effect and narrow roads. Well, the problem we've been having the last couple of weeks is that the wind's just continually blowing, so, you know, the guys get it clear like this, takes them an entire day to do so, and then the wind blows 18, 20 miles per hour all night long, and, it, yeah, by the next morning, it's drifted shut again. They're starting again from, from ground zero. In some areas with nowhere to push the snow any further back, two lanes have been cut to just barely the width of one pickup truck. Can't move out of the way. Unfortunately, somebody's usually left with having to back back up, and I, I would just urge citizens to, you know, have patience and um, have caution. Even on a clear day, the impact of past snow continues to create danger on these rural Iowa roads. When I was out driving around, uh, a lady came sliding through a four-way stop or a two-way stop, and I was coming from one of the directions that didn't have a stop sign. She was driving way too fast, and the road was about as wide as this one was, and. You know, luckily we didn't collide with each other. In Jasper County, there are over 300 miles of paved roads and over 900 miles of gravel roads. The maintenance crews here spent all summer and into the fall navigating the roads, clearing debris from the derecho, only to have the winter come and push away snow that's often as tall or taller than the vehicles navigating through those roads. I'm sure they're getting tired. I'm sure they're getting burnt out, but they're not complaining. They're out there every single time we have a snow event. They're they're in those blades and 4:30 in the morning, and they're moving snow all day, and they're right back in them again the next day. In Newton, Justin Cernsey, WHO 13 News. So Jasper County officials urge everyone to drive alert and eliminate distractions, especially with the reduced lane width because of all that snow.